the Hindi language from India. Now they are publishing them in English on their new channel, IMR Scary Tales. The channel has really exciting horror content to share with you. Do show them some love. Check out the channel and do subscribe to it as well. Link of the channel is in the description below. I'm a 16 year old girl and this took place in July of 2019. Me, my parents, and two sisters were having a family gathering at this lake where we all used to go. We hadn't been to this lake in a few years, so I was excited to be going back. Just to give you a general idea of the place, when you first pull into the path to head up to the lake, you have to drive for a few minutes a very narrow path surrounded by woods. And you come to a fork in the path. One leads to a picnic area and the other leads to the lake. Then you continue up the path to the lake and after a few more minutes come across another fork. One side leads to one entrance to the lake and the other side leads to another entrance that's across the lake. After that you still have to drive for a few more minutes until you get to the parking area so it's pretty tedious. We'd already been to the lake for a few hours and suddenly I got a headache. My mom gave me the car keys so I could go sit in the car with the air conditioning on. I took the keys and started to walk back to the car. The parking lot and the lake area were a little way off apart from each other. As I was approaching our car, I saw a man who was looking through the car windows. He was a skinny old white man with shoulder length gray hair and he wore old clothes. I stopped walking and asked him, sir, what are you doing? He slowly turned to me, stared at me for a moment, and then walked away. I thought it was weird, but I just ignored him that he might be just another visitor in this area. And I was totally wrong. I got into the driver's seat and locked the car. I turned the car on and tried to call my mom to tell her about the man, ask if she could send someone to come sit with me. But there wasn't any cell service out at this lake, so the call never went through. I then looked to the right and saw the old man looking at me through the passenger side window. He was trying to open the door. I screamed and desperately tried calling my dad and then my aunt hoping the call would somehow go through, but of course, it didn't. I was freaking out at this point and I honked the horn at the man, hoping that someone would hear and come see. I was blaring the horn, but there was no one else in the parking area. I was too far away from the lake area so my family couldn't hear me at all. The man stopped, stared at me, and gave up trying to open the door. And then he stepped back from the car while saying something, but I couldn't hear him. As he disappeared, I got out of the car, locked it, and rushed back to the lake area. When I got there, I slammed the keys on the table and my mom asked me what was wrong. I told her, and as I was talking, I could see that she got angry. She looked at my dad and uncles and told them they needed to come with us back to the car. I started crying and shaking as we were walking back towards the cars. Two of my uncles ran into the woods and my father drove down to the path. As I was crying, I just stood there. My two aunts and grandmother hugged me and told me that everything is okay. Mom looked in the windows of the other cars in the area to see if the man got inside one of the cars, but all the cars were empty. A few minutes later, everyone was back, but they couldn't find that old man. Soon we left the lake, and as we were leaving, we saw a park ranger. We told him everything, and he looked confused. He said that no one didn't go out from this area before us, which meant that man came from the woods in this lake. When I heard of it, I was terrified. 